Hello everyone, welcome to Be Better Gamer Wrestling. I am Be Better Gamer. This channel is dedicated to wrestling video games, fueled by my love, passion, and obsession for them. Today I am bringing you another video for Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. This is another one of my call designs, my original call designs for Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, a game that is part of the Aki series developed for the N64, only released in Japan. You might be familiar with No Mercy, WrestleMania 2000, WCW, NW Revenge, other games released in that series. And the call I am bringing you today is Super Strong Machine. This is going to be a throwback episode. Lately, I've been doing a lot of modern uh, New Japan wrestlers. As you can see, Kodo Bushi, Naito were some of my previous ones. But Super Strong Machine is definitely a throwback. Uh, back at Kazuna Road in June, they held a Super Strong Machine retirement ceremony. And this is a, originally when I wanted to do this video back in June. I'm getting around to it now. And I figured it'd be great to do Super Strong Machine because his mask is actually in the game. Or at least a mask that looks like his mask. Obviously, they couldn't put his official mask in the game, but it's close enough. So I'm going to show you how I did Super Strong Machine, as well as the fighting style, computer intelligence, uh, uh, profile, all the parameters, all that extra stuff. You can find it in the description below. I have everything typed out in a spreadsheet, and there's a link for it in my description below. So if you want the full call... Make sure you check on that. But right now, I'm just going to go through the appearance. Um, and this is a mask wrestler. This is a mask wrestler. And if you don't already know, to create a mask in this game, when you're here at the face part, just press left or right on the D-pad. And that switches between regular face and using a mask. And like I said, Super Strong Machine, his mask is already in the game. So head one is for the head. And then for the mask, it's 19. And I, for the colors, for the first uh, mask we did... 31, 1, 20, and 31. <clears throat> this is the primary, you know, Strong Machine mask I think that he used the most. This one and the black one he always usually used the most. And for hair, hair 1 for the little hair sticking out behind the mask. Body size, 6. Uh, keep it at the zero skin tone color for his uh, body size. C28 for the long tights. He was he was a very simple guy, you know, just simple black tights. Every now and then, you saw him wear certain tights that had maybe little designs on the side, but it, it, he always usually just wore the basic, you know, black tights. And for A6, one shoulder black, very reminiscent of Andre the Giant, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Wristband one, uh, color two, so white wristbands. And then for the knee pad, so if you notice, if you look at the, the tights without the knee pads, I'm going to show it to you in a bit. Uh, if we take off the knee pads, you can sort of see an outline for knee pads maybe under the tights. To flesh that out a little bit more, I to give it you know sort of more depth, I just added knee, knee pads over it. Because you could see that he wore knee pads when he wore the tights. So I wanted to just give it a little bit more depth. Depth. And then boots A2503 with the socks. Those would be the socks coming out of the boots. And there you go. That's that's his base outfit. And like I said, he usually always wore a black mask too. And that usually had a gold design. Sometimes it had a silver design. Sometimes it had a white design. But I went with the gold design. Make everything zero except for the second row. The second row is 20, which is light gold. I feel like light gold looks a little bit better than regular gold or dark gold. It pops a whole lot more, in my opinion. Here we're messing around a little bit with his accessories, because every now and then he did switch it up with his accessories. And this is a mask uh, reminiscent of what he wore sort of in the mid-90s, where he had um, a little bit of a purple outline and a silver you know, coloring for his, his eye and his mouth. I went with dark purple, because if you saw there when I scrolled through the other purples, the dark purple outline looks a lot... Um, to me, it stands out a lot more, whereas the purple and the light purple sort of blends in with the silver. And for the knee pads, we gave him white knee pads and we gave him white boots. He wore boots that were a little bit shorter than this, um, but you know, you can't really get that much more shorter in this game with boots, so I went with those boots. And then this is a super strong machine that's a little bit more current, if you will, that he wore sort of in the 2000s, his blue mask. And this is actually something you uh, outfit you'll see in the upcoming Fire Pro Wrestling world. Uh, and usually the outline is light blue, which I'm showing you here. 
but I actually don't really like how that blends in here so I just kept it silver so you can do that there blue and silver still works pretty well uh, because he did have blue and silver designs in his mask and then just blue wristband wristbands and there you go super strong machine very simple very iconic look I mean if you are aware of super strong machine um, he definitely has he had a very simple iconic look and very memorable if you remember seeing him part of the new japan roster for many years i mean he had a career that lasted what 40 years something like that something crazy like that something long time there you go so that, let me know what you think in the comments below um let me know if this is how you made super strong machine or if you made any adjustments or what other colors of his mask you chose to go with obviously there was a point where super strong machine wrestled under his real name um junji harata or junji harata i believe it might be the correct pronunciation of that but i did not make his unmasked version he is in virtual pro wrestling 64 which was the first uh virtual pro wrestling game that came out on the n64 developed by aki right alongside wcw nwo world tour and he's in there as junji harata uh and super strong machine is his second outfit but here I decided to go with a full super strong machine call because that's what the re retirement ceremony was all about. Recently at Kazuna Road, uh, New Japan held a retirement ceremony for super strong machine. Kazuna Road, June 19th, where they did a special uh, tag team five on five match. It was Los Ingobernables, you know, led by um, Tetsuya Naito that I just recently made a call of against the super strong machine team it was basically five of the new japan uh wrestlers dressed up as different versions of super strong machine it was super strong machine ace super strong machine buffalo super strong machine justice super strong machine don super strong machine number 69 who was the leader of the group and of course if you're familiar with new japan it wasn't hard to tell who all those wrestlers were basically taguchi was number 69 manabu nakanishi was don yuji nagata was justice tenzan was buffalo and tanahashi was ace very fun match uh very entertaining match all the super strong machines were doing all of super strong machines iconic moves you know the strong machine lariat they were trying to do the sentons all move and kept missing most of the time uh the suplex the power driver german suplex diving headbutt they did it all very fun taking down los igobinables as the original super strong machine sat outside watching the match along with shogun kai wakumatsu who was the manager of super strong machine and, and if you don't know when super strong machine came onto the scene like i said junji harada you know he was trained in the new japan dojo and he made his debut under his real name way back in 1978 and then he left New Japan for his excursion, you know, which they still do today. And he went to North America. He competed uh, in other places too. I believe he competed in Mexico. But he primarily ended up in Stampede Wrestling, where he had a gimmick. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding you not. He had a gimmick pretending to be a member of the First Nations as Sunny Two Rivers. Uh, you know. It's the 80s, 70s, Japanese people. Let's have them pretend to be a member of the First Nations. I don't know. Wrestling is weird sometimes. But when he returned to New Japan, he returned under a mask. And Shogun Kai Wakumatsu was the manager of him, as well as two other strong machines. They were the Strong Machine Gun Dam, I believe, group. And Super Strong Machine was the main one. Super Strong Machine number one. Super Strong Machine number two, number three. But Super Strong Machine one was Junji Harada. And he came in against Antonio Noki. That's why I'm, I'm having this match. That's how they debuted him under the mask as Antonio Noki. And then they had these Strong Machines doing tag team matches. But eventually, it was just Super Strong Machine one. And, you know, throughout the years, there were other people who were sort of his Strong Machine ca counterparts. But... You know, he was part of a bunch of different various stables and tag teams and groups. So he's, he was always sort of seen as this supporting cast member, if you will, the supporting player. Um, you know, he, he, I always, I thought going back and looking at his matches, I thought he was a very solid wrestler in the ring, solid worker in the ring. 
and very enjoyable to see his stuff. There's not a whole lot of his stuff on New Japan World, but there are some few highlights that I would recommend definitely checking out if you've never seen Super Strong Machine before against Tatsumi Fujinami. There's a tag match with him and George Takano versus Hiroshi Hase and Shiro Koshinaka. Probably the most fun match is a match, a tag team match. It was actually the end of the tag league with him and Masahiro Chono versus Kenji Muro and Hiroshi Hase. A uh, very fun match, a lot of tension in that match between Chono and Strong Machine. Strong Machine actually takes off his mask and throws it at Chono because he's so frustrated. He like, you know, defies him there. And that's when he turns baby phase. Here we go with the Devil Windmill Suplex, which was Strong Machine's finisher. And I chose Anoki again, for two reasons. Because he came in to New Japan debuting as Strong Machine against Anoki. But in his retirement ceremony, he talked about probably his most memorable moment was against Antonio Anoki. Obviously, Antonio Anoki, you know, the legend. And if you, and I also wanted to make a quick mention. You know, I mentioned Andre the Giant previously. He did wear a strong machine mask. If you remember, way back in the day, briefly in the 80s, that's what I really remember too. Is is the giant machine? Everyone pretending. Oh, is that Andre the Giant or is that not? It was very clearly Andre the Giant, but him, Blackjack M Mulligan, Bill Eady, They were giant machine, super machine, and a big machine, and they basically <laughs> were copying the super strong machine gimmick from Japan. You can see all that on the network. It's really fun stuff. But there you go. That's my super strong machine call. Wanted to do a little bit of a throwback. Let me know what you think again in the comments below. Again, I am Be Better Gamer. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Be Better Gamer. Check out some of my other Virtual Wrestling 2 calls and Let's Plays. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video. Until next time, you know what to do. Keep watching all the wrestling.